Good morning. Been thinking about YouTube's policies and uh, the the other times that they have blocked my skinning videos and things. Um, I'm kind of wondering what would happen if I did them in black and white. So you're probably going to see this in black and white because that hides the red. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, a lot of folks me included until just a few years ago had no idea how to how to turn the ears on a coyote or wolf or deer or whatever animal um, a taxidermist if you don't turn the the ears what happens is the cartilage in there it won't dry out very well and the hair will slip on the back of the ear and fall out and uh, am I driving by here anyway uh, the hair will fall out and you don't want that and so you got to skin it out all the way to the tip of the tip of the ear without uh, without taking the cartridge cartilage out and so that can be a little bit tricky but I'm gonna try to show you how to do this here so I looked up YouTube's guidelines and it said that uh, videos that were designed to disgust, shock, or, or uh, bother people, basically, are banned, which this video and none I've ever done have ever been designed for that. But I guess it's all, if they get disgusted, then <laughs> you have problems. So I don't know how well this is going to go over, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Whoops, there's my phone. That's Dave Morelli. Hello, Dave. Hey, man. Okay, so first off, what you need is a real pointed knife. This one, I got this from a friend of mine. It's um, Jack Whitman. He's a he's known worldwide as a, one of the best wolf trappers out there. He lives here, not too far away, and. I haven't seen him for a while. I need to go and visit him. He, anyway, so I've already got this partially done. The ear, this is the ear right here. Uh, this is the butt of the ear up in here. Uh, you can take and you can move it around and feel where that is. So before I cut that out, I need to trim or skin out the, the outside edge, which is time consuming. You got to be real careful and real slow. The, the skin is real thin right there. Uh, if you can get it started enough where you can get your finger in there, sometimes you can pull that down, pull it away from the cartilage. Very time-consuming deal. One thing you don't want to do is rush this. It, uh, you get to swinging your knife around too much and trying to go too fast, you're going to mess it up and put holes in it. So. Take your time and go real slow. It seems like you're not getting anywhere at all, but it it uh, it makes a difference. It's just the just the back of the ear you want to skin out the the inside the front side uh, leave that alone you leave the cartilage in it it's just so that that this can dry on the inside is all oops I'm about out of battery Ok, 
Okay, that's probably probably about as far as I want to go for now. Uh, so then, you reach up here, get a different knife here. You reach up here and uh, feel for the base of the ear, which is right there. Boy, this knife is not very sharp. This is another one I got from Jack. He makes these. I don't know if he's still doing them or not, but uh, if you can ever get your hands on these, they're worth having. Look how thin that steel is. It's, it's like a scalpel, really. Except, <laughs> I need to sharpen it. <laughs> Okay, so that's the front half. You got to get all this meat off and all that stuff when you flesh it. But, uh, anyway, that's the first one. It's really not that hard. It's just time consuming. You got to be really careful because uh, you got to be really careful because this this skin here on the outside of the ear is really thin. If you're not careful, you'll put a hole in it, and you definitely don't want that. Now, that'll dry a whole bunch better now without uh, problems. Well, now do the other side. Well, this will probably get the award for the most boring YouTube video ever made. But if you're a trapper and you want to know how to do this, or maybe you want to be a taxidermist, this is kind of one of those things with why those guys get paid so what they do. It's pretty, um, pretty boring, pretty time-consuming, and pretty easy to mess it up so you gotta be real careful real slow okay that's probably about as far as I'm gonna go on that one too because the ear tips got to be right there I can finish this up after I finish getting it skinned but for now I think that's probably pretty close far along. I'm not going to go any further. So again, I'll show you how to your the butt of the ear again here. If you lift up on it, you can tell let's see. You lift up on it, you can tell where the base is. It's clear up into here. So you can take and cut up into here.
right to there. There's the base of the ear. So, basically, you're turning them inside out. Let's see. So, basically, you're just turning them inside out. And uh, they'll dry better that way. you got to get all this meat off and fat and whatever. Um, a little bit of a little bit of borax will really help for the drying and to keep it from um, uh, slipping. So keep the hair from slipping. The eyes are right here. Those are another one you want to be real kind of careful with. Um, and this knife is dull. My fleshing beam, most people like a wider one than this. I like mine. It's only, it's probably three inches, three and a half inches around. What I did is I built it to go on to my pickup. I can slide it, slide it into the receiver hitch of the truck. So to do it in here, I had to build a basically a receiver hitch that uh, is mounted to a post. Uh, this is what it looks like. That part goes into the truck or the or the hitch in here, and then it's just a just a fence rail. So that puts it out at a pretty good angle. It's about a little below chest height on me. I've got a point on the end of it here uh, to do things like the nose and the, the ears and things. And I got a gravel floor. So this little plastic sled works pretty good to keep the dirt off of them. So now that that's on the fleshing beam, I can get this just a little further along on the ears. You see, I'm I'm down to here. Right, let's see. I'm down to here. There's still quite a little bit of ear left. A lot of times, once you get it that far, you can push your finger in there. If you're gentle, and kind of tear that through, you don't want to tear it. I mean, yeah, that's not going to work. With a coyote, most of the time that'll work. With these guys, it's a little tougher. But if you don't do it, the hair will fall out, so you kind of really need to do that. If you're taking it to a taxidermist, they'll do this for you, but it, they charge you pretty good because it is time consuming.
Well, that's probably far enough. It's within a probably half inch of the ear tip. I'd like to get it all the way to the end though if I could. I think I can, it's just a matter of taking a lot of time to do, but but I mean you don't get these that often, so it's probably worth the extra time. Still got that much more to go. Really get that to the tip if I can. But you're probably not watching anymore anyway, so I won't bore you any further. Okay, so that looks really strange, but that is the ear turned inside out. That will uh, allow those to dry quite a little bit. This one's already starting to dry out. Oh, it's time consuming, but that's how it's done.